Hey everyone, Steve Poland here, and I've had a number of requests for breeding updates, so I wanted to go ahead and do that. Overall, the breeding is going well, maybe not quite as well as I would have hoped for this point, but I'm still pretty happy. I've got a lot going on. I'm going to start here. This is my dragon blood group. You saw the male there a minute ago. He likes to hide when the camera's around. Looks like he went into one of the caves. This group has probably been the biggest frustration for me. That male is amazing. I've got four females in here with him. They just are not breeding. I'm gonna have to resort to some tricks here because, again, it's really getting frustrating. I'd really love to see some fry out of them. I did have one successful spawn there were three fry and one of them survived. So I do know that this male has it in him. Just gotta figure out what's going on and why that's not happening. Up above this tank, this is an OB group. These guys are really still pretty young. They're in this 20 long up here. The male is right there. They're going to be pretty cool, but again, still really young, so I'm not too worried about them not spawning yet. I'm sorry for all the glare in here, guys. It's just kind of tough. This is my wild-caught red shoulder male. And he's in here by himself because he decided to be a jerk and rough up all of his females. So I've got them over in a quarantine hospital tank. Hang on, let me get him out of here. Okay, here he is, if you can see him back there. There we go. He's like amazing looking. Again, he's wild caught. But he's not playing nice with the ladies. But I've had many spawns out of these guys. Lots of fry which I will show you here in a little bit. But I haven't gotten him on camera a lot since I got him, so just wanted to let you see him again. And then up above him are a bunch of his children, and then there's that one dragon blood there that you can see. But these are all grow outs, red shoulders. I've been pulling the largest ones out of this tank and putting them in the crawl space grow out, which I'll show you here in a bit. And then I'm having success here with these couple of breeding groups. So these are the blue neons. There's the male. And I like him a lot. He's really looking good since he's been in this tank with his females. Not sure how well it comes across on camera, but He's really nice. And I've had a couple spawns out of them already. I've only had them a couple months. So I'll show you some fry here in a minute. And then I have another one holding at the moment. So that's good. And then next to them are the sunshines. Now this group one of my females ended up being a male and I a couple weeks ago put him upstairs in the 90 gallon grow out up there which you've seen many times so now I've only got this one male in here and I've had one spawn I've got fry that I'll show you from these guys and then I have another one holding right now so Got them going finally, so that's very good. I'm very excited about that. Up above them, let me flip this brighter here. These are all juvenile blue neons, and there are probably 30 or so in there. And they're doing great. And then I've got 
in a Marina Hang'em breeder box here. I've got more blue neons. And then these, and they're really new, really young. These are the Sunshines. One other source of frustration is my Azurius group, which are down here. Let me turn off this other light. So there's the male that I've had in here for a while. Got a bunch of females in here. Then I actually pulled another male Azurius from upstairs to see if I could get them going, but no spawns out of these guys. So it's really, it's these two groups that I think should be spawning and are not, so gonna have to resort to some tricks and see if I can't make that happen and then you may have remember recently I added this row of 10 gallon tanks up here and I've got water in two of them now let me turn off a couple of these other lights see if we can't make it a little easier to see yeah there's gonna be probably too much glare so I've got one tank that is blue regals, the few blue regals that are left from the breeding group that I had that turned out to be all males and then I got replacements and got a, like one female so that whole experience is frustrating but I've got a few fish growing out from that but I don't know hopefully they're going to be at least a little more resilient than the other blue regals that I got several of which died and then I've got a few red shoulder F1 red shoulders in here growing out not a lot they are really young that was the last spawn from those guys before uh, he went all rambo on me now let me show you what's going on in the crawl space grow out okay here is the crawl space grow out i'm not sure how well you can see these guys i've just been pulling like i said the largest these are all red shoulders f1 red shoulders i've been pulling the largest ones out of that 40 breeder and putting them in here and they've been growing really fast in here. I've got one, yeah, you can't, sorry, you can't really tell in this video, but there is one in here that is getting really big. That's probably at least two and a half inches. So having this large water volume in here has, I think, really been helping them. So I'm just going to keep moving them in here as needed and they'll keep growing so really happy that I did this project it was a lot of work but it's helping me grow fish out quickly so that's it for the breeding everyone couple groups doing great couple groups doing not so great just trying to stay patient overall though pretty happy it's been kind of fun having all these projects these breeding projects let me know what you think about all that down in the comments. And if this is your first time here at this channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Because each week I bring you a new video sharing my experiences in the aquarium hobby. I give updates on my tanks, review products, show you DIY projects, and share tips and tricks to help you take your tanks to the next level. Hit subscribe to follow along. Have a good one.